Well, it has been over a month since another significant weather event. Homeowners around Fruitdale in Washington County continue to clean up and repair their property after the November 30th tornado. WKRG News 5's Chad Petrie is covering this for us this morning. He is live in the studio with the very latest on that cleanup effort. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Bill. And yeah, it was November 30th when a long track tornado produced EF1 damage in Fruitdale, tearing through the high school grounds and damaging surrounding homes and a church. At Fruitdale High School, the damage is still visible. High winds shredded the Votech building. Just a few hundred feet away, the storm damaged the Cornerstone Church of Fruitdale. It also toppled several trees around that area. And one of those trees crashed into Victoria Savage's trailer while she was home with her kids. The home is covered with tarps on both ends and is unlivable right now. She says the storm was extremely traumatic on her and her family and is not looking forward to the potential next round of severe weather. It was very bad, um, which I was inside the home whenever the tree fell through it. So um, we, didn't, we didn't get an alert in enough time to even, you know, get out. It's all in God's control, whatever he wants to do. Maybe next time you'll take it all away from him, huh? Buddy Jones is repairing a home that sits right next to the high school. He says he's not going to fret over things he can't control. Jones says he's had to replace windows, siding, and doors, and there's still a lot of work left to do today and no way to get it all done before the next storm system rolls through. Live in the studio, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.